Smallest player at Edmonton Oilers camp and maybe at any NHL camp as I'm joined by Mark Spector, but making a big impact is Kyler Yamamoto. Are you at all surprised that he will be part of the Edmonton Oilers to begin this season? Well, who is it? Right. The Oilers were supposed to be past the point, Gene, where the 18-year-old first-round uh, draft pick, 22nd overall, made the team. That was the old Oilers. The new Oilers wasn't supposed to happen. Then he comes in the door, and uh, as Todd McClellan said, you know, well, different 18-year-old and 19-year-olds around the NHL, some make it, most don't. What this kid did was he didn't change his game. He didn't play differently when he got on the ice with Connor McDavid or with Leon Dreisel. Played the same game every night, earned the coach's trust. He's going to start down his nine-game road in the NHL. I suspect it will end in the AHL, but at this point, he's proven everybody wrong. Yeah, and uh, Connor McDavid, uh, well, he's proven everybody right. They figured he would be a generational player. He would win scoring races, or at least one so far, and he would do what he's done. Uh, what can we expect after such a great sophomore season? in year three for him in the NHL. Yeah, the season he began at 19 years old last year ended up with an Art Ross trophy and a Hart trophy, uh, and it took his team into the second round of the playoffs. We would expect that player to improve this year. So where do you go from 100 points and two of the big trophies? Well, I think you try to take your team to a Stanley Cup final. I talked to Connor McDavid this morning. He said, I don't even know what happens when a Canadian team wins the Stanley Cup because he wasn't born in 1993. He says, do we go to the White House? Do we go to Parliament? What do we do? He was only kidding, but that would be the challenge now for Conrad David, less personal and more team goals. Well, as for the Edmonton Oilers, as we go into a season and you know you walk around the city and everyone is so excited about the beginning of this campaign, what might Oilers fans get from their hockey team and will they be watching them in May or maybe even into June? Well, when's the last time, Gino, that an Oilers fan looked at his team on October 2nd and said, my team could win the Stanley Cup this year. Maybe 1990, maybe 1989. So it's, we're going back uh, ancient history. Uh, this is a very good hockey team. It's very well-rounded. They're a little light on defense, but they've got Stanley Cup goaltending. They've got enough size and skill up and forward. This is the best team in Canada, and it does have legitimate Stanley Cup chances. So it's a whole new world in Edmonton. We've forgotten what this is like in this town. Uh, and frankly, I think everyone in this city is looking forward to experiencing it all over again. Yeah, and so is everyone in another city, Calgary. Battle of Alberta to kick off the seasons for the two Alberta-based teams. For Mark Spector, I'm Gene Principe for Sportsnet in Edmonton.